Have you ever wondered about the captivating life cycle of crayfish? Today, we delve into the mesmerizing world of these crustaceans, unraveling the enigma of their existence, right from the egg to their adult form. Crayfish, the freshwater relatives of lobsters, inhabit a wide range of habitats including streams, rivers, ponds, and even underground water systems, showcasing their impressive adaptability. These crustaceans play a pivotal role in the ecosystem, acting as both predators and prey. They feed on decaying plant material, small fish, insects, thus helping to keep the waterways clean. Simultaneously, they provide a rich source of nutrition for various birds, fish, and mammals, highlighting their significance in the food chain. The conservation of crayfish is vital, not just for maintaining biodiversity, but also for preserving the health of our aquatic ecosystems. As they are sensitive to changes in water quality, a decline in their population can signal larger environmental issues. The intriguing life cycle of crayfish is a phenomenon that begins with the female. Females are the primary caretakers of the next generation, carrying the eggs until they hatch. When a crayfish is in this reproductive stage, she is often referred to as buried due to the egg cluster's resemblance to a bunch of berries. The process of egg carrying requires specific conditions. The water temperature needs to be just right, not too hot or too cold, and the environment should be free of pollutants. It is during this period that the female faces numerous challenges. It becomes crucial to separate her from the rest of the tank to safeguard both the mother and her future offspring. This separation serves a dual purpose. It protects the buried crayfish from potential stress and harm, and it allows for meticulous monitoring of the eggs, creating an optimal environment for their development. So whether you're a crayfish enthusiast, an aspiring aquarist, or simply a creature of curiosity, understanding the life cycle of crayfish offers a glimpse into the intricate and interwoven tapestry of life beneath the water's surface. Following fertilization, the female crayfish faithfully guards the eggs she carries, tucked under her abdomen for approximately three to four weeks, the exact time duration dictated by the specific species. This period is not only critical, but also fascinating as the eggs undergo a profound transformation, developing and gearing up for the hatching stage. The process of hatching is triggered by changes in the environmental conditions. The temperature and quality of the water play a significant role. A suitable water temperature of around 20, 22 degrees Celsius, along with clean water free of pollutants, is necessary for a successful hatching. When the eggs have fully matured, the female engages in a delicate ritual, releasing them into the water. The hatching process is a miraculous occurrence, giving birth to minuscule larvae, referred to as zoea. They are almost transparent with hair-like structures for swimming, signifying the first stage in the fascinating life cycle of a crayfish. Survival in this initial stage is a formidable task, with only a small percentage of zoea larvae, typically less than 10%, making it past this stage due to predators, environmental stressors, and disease. The zoea stage is a particularly precarious time for the larvae. They drift aimlessly in the water column, feeding on plankton for several weeks. Throughout this period, engage in a critical biological process known as molting, where they shed their exoskeleton multiple times. Each molt signifies growth and development, with the crayfish becoming one step closer to transitioning into the juvenile stage. This molting process, although essential for growth, presents its own share of challenges. The freshly molted crayfish is soft and vulnerable, making it an easy prey for potential predators. Furthermore, the new exoskeleton requires essential nutrients, particularly calcium, for its formation. The scarcity of these nutrients can inhibit growth and might even prove to be fatal. Therefore, ensuring the right nutrition is paramount during this stage. As the juvenile crayfish mature, they undergo an incredible metamorphosis settling at the bottom of the water bodies and embarking on their journey towards adulthood. This transition phase is a significant one, marked by profound changes in the crayfish's physiology and behavior. They begin to develop harder exoskeletons with their coloration deepening and their defensive pincers becoming more pronounced. Their diet also shifts, moving from primarily plant-based to a more carnivorous one.
reflecting their increasing dominance in their aquatic habitats. However, this transition isn't without its challenges. Juvenile crayfish must evade numerous predators while they're still vulnerable and navigate the complex social dynamics of crayfish communities. They also need to adapt to changing environmental conditions, such as fluctuating water temperatures and varying food availability. Understanding these changes and challenges is of critical importance in ensuring the healthy growth and survival of crayfish. The life cycle of crayfish is indeed a remarkable journey, from the female carrying eggs to the development of the zoea and their eventual maturation into adults. Comprehensive understanding of this cycle allows us to provide optimal conditions for the crayfish to thrive. This includes separating the pregnant crayfish and providing the offspring with appropriate care, which can significantly contribute to maintaining the balance in our aquatic ecosystems. Human intervention plays a vital role in the conservation of these fascinating creatures. Through responsible practices such as sustainable fishing, habitat preservation and species monitoring, we can ensure that crayfish populations remain stable and ecosystems continue to flourish. Thank you for joining us on this expanded exploration of the crayfish life cycle. As we continue to learn and care for these fascinating creatures, we remember our integral role in preserving biodiversity. Until next time, never stop exploring, never stop asking questions, and always stay curious.